me a Willie's Jeep, so I got me one. Unfortunately, this thing needs thousands and thousands of dollars done to restore any semblance of hope that might be able to drive on the road again. Also, I don't have a title for it, so there you go. Everything on this on this chassis needs rebuilding. The axles, the transmission's locked up. Uh, thankfully, I think the only thing that works somewhat shifts in and out neutral is the um, transfer case. It's got low and high range on it. But yeah, all that needs rebuilding. The small block's locked up. Steering box. Look how much play I got in this thing. It's an unholy nightmare. Brake lines need completely replacing. New brakes. All that. Alright, this. These ball joints, right back here. I have a hard time finding them anywhere on the internet. Those need rebuilding. The frame's cracked, it's got bad welds, it's bent. It's just, I'm not even gonna bother. I'll probably scrap it or give it away or sell it or something. So, I built me this. I've always wanted me a Willie's Jeep, so I got me one. I've never wanted the maintenance that goes with an old Willie's Jeep, so here's what I did. Got me a 1993 Geo Tracker. That's the frame, that's the engine, the axles, the transmission. All pretty relatively common parts. Sorry about the wind noise. The motor runs, works like a charm. Spits a little oil, but you know what? I'll rebuild it eventually. So here's what I did. Lengthen the steering shaft. So now I've got only about that much play in it. And, of course, with being a Geo Tracker, the fine Japanese engineering it is, got me a pretty good little steering box on there that I can adjust. Custom body mounts, I'll cut these bolts off right there so I won't uh, knock them upside a rock or something. Uh, you got it suspended so that the tub just barely passing the frame. I have to jack this side up, actually. The other side has plenty of clearance. If I go for a bump, it might hit it, but I'm not too worried about that. It'll just be a rattle, in, if anything. But yeah, the steering's tight, responsive. I hope it won't break and kill me going 50 miles an hour down the road. I'm pretty happy with it. I've got me a grill here. It's an old grate. This thing is heavy duty. It's probably you know, 25 pounds. I want to take this thing. I build it for plowing, for hauling, and romping. And bush fording. That basically means I'm going to be doing a lot of work with it. And I don't want some big tree coming up and crunching my radiator in. And me losing all the fluid. So I got that that big old thing. Nothing's getting through there. Uh, it's got coil suspension all the way around easy to maintain easy to find parts let's see here what else can I mention oh yeah pretty bad uh, bolt job there I'll fix it eventually I get more money to buy screws these are my custom body extensions I've got to add floorboards I've got to put the wiring harness back in what I'm going to do is I rip the fuel tank out of the back so I won't lose all my fuel somewhere going over a rock. Uh, probably cage this stuff in right there. Put a rubber mount over it, but a uh, rubber gasket anyway to keep the mud from uh, getting on it. Put a fuel tank right up here. Gravity fed. I'll put a carburetor in here. Probably a little Geo Metro engine, 50 horsepower. Gets about 40, 50 miles a gallon. Now 50 about 50 horsepower is what the original Willys Jeep got, so, you know, I'm not looking for all that much power. I just want fuel economy and simplicity. If I get the uh, Metro motor in there, probably an 88 model, I'm not going to have any electronics. It's all going to be points distributor, carbureted, gravity fed. It's going to be a bug out machine. I'm going to put the electronics for now up here that go with this motor, but uh, yeah, I'll eventually scrap that. I might actually sell that engine just to buy me a new new one. 
course I'm going to get that thing running again while it's all bolted on there so I can just take it for a test drive before I tear it back apart because I just got it done. Move this stuff out of the way. I think it's beautiful. I like it. Needs a good deal of work. I've got my hood and windshield tram sitting over there. When I get all bolted on here, I'll take it down the car wash, blast it off, sand it down, repaint it, take all this Bondo off. I'll be good to go. I just imagine sitting right here driving down the road. Windshield down, wind in my hair. Having a good old time.